1960s, and his father was evidently a very skilled guy. Um, uh, you can see, I mean, there's the Rocky Mountains, uh, all of these, uh, all the rivers are there. And then he has both uh, in print and raised and, and in braille letters uh, everything that's there. This guy was particularly lucky, and he grew up. Uh, he's now he now lives in um, in West Monroe, Louisiana, and he has a business called View International, in which he is uh, developing further tactile uh, um, forms for for uh, for blind people to use. So this is a, this is the type of thing that. 50 years ago, a very lucky kid might have his, 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 uh, his parents do with him. His mother also bought children's picture books and with a braille labeler made braille labels for the same as the words in the book and she was able to read along with him. Now, now that, that was, um, that was uh, I, I don't know whether she was the only mother to think of doing it, but she made sure she learned Braille and taught it to him. Mark Maurer, whom you met, our president, he, was, he says that he was very fortunate also and that his mother went out and learned Braille and taught him Braille when he, when he was a kid. Robert Jaquist was another su such lucky kid. 